Hello everyone, today is another data factory tutorial where I will show you how to copy multiple tables easily in Azure Data Factory. I am Riz Ang, your Azure Assistant, and let's get down to it. If you have one source table and a destination, it's straightforward. You just have a pipeline and you do the copy. Now imagine you have three source tables in which case you need to have three pipelines and if you have hundreds of source tables that you want to copy i don't think you want to create hundreds of pipelines because that's a bad idea now i want to introduce a concept called a config table where you effectively have a config table a table in sql database that lists all the tables uh, as the sources and the destinations where one pipeline calls that table and does the copy from all sources into all destinations. So to make it more alive, in today's demo, I'm gonna share with you how to do that. I have three source tables, a config table that lists these three source tables, destination and the data lake, a pipeline that does a copy into a data lake. As usual, prerequisites, please make sure you have Azure account subscription and resource group. Two SQL databases, one to store the source table, the other to store the config table. Azure Data Studio installed to follow along. Azure Storage account with Data Lake enabled, Data Lake Gen 2 enabled. And lastly, of course, Data Factory. Now we'll get to the Azure portal. And as you can see, in all resources, I have already created two SQL databases, a data factory and a data lake resource. Now, before I get to show the demo in data factory, I wanna make sure a couple of things here. Uh, please have the data lake or storage account, uh, firewalls and virtual networks configuration to allow for all networks. So you can find it under firewalls and virtual networks allow access from all networks and also for the SQL server so if you go to a SQL server resource I have one here called RA underscore sorry RA dash SQL server and if you go to firewalls and virtual networks as well make sure you have the allow Azure services and resources to access the server as yes and also make sure you add your client IP address, your own IP address into the list here and click save. I have already done this, so I don't need to do it again. Now back to all resources here, where I'm gonna stop and now go to Azure Data Studio to create the config table and the source tables for demo purposes. This is Azure Data Studio. Uh, where I will use to interact with Azure SQL databases I created before. If you're new, uh, make sure you sign in to Azure, your Azure account using the section on the lower left here. And you should be able to connect to some databases uh, after that. And by the way, feel free to use SQL Server Management Studio if you're more comfortable with that. I have created a script in Data Studio that does two things. The first one is to create a config table that lists the source and destinations. Second script is to create three dummy tables in, in the, for the different database. And I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna try to connect to one of the database, which is SQL DW. This is the credentials, as you can see and I will just connect for now. And let me run the first set of scripts here. And as you can see, this will create uh, three rows because we want to copy from three tables. And we have source details from source platform, layer, folder, schema, and item, and columns. And the sync or destination details which also has platform layer folder and schema and item and the platform is the where the azure resource is the layer and the folder are relevant for uh, blob storage or data lake 
So that's why it's null at the minute. At the minute, and the schema and item are relevant for uh, a relational table. That's why we have DBO for schema and table one, two, three. And effectively, our source tables are these three tables: table one, two, three from SQL DB database. And the there's also columns here that we specify for these sources, and the destination is effectively a DL1, which is a data lake uh, on a uh, raw container or layer uh, into a folder one that I've created. And also the item is the, the file name itself is table one, two, and three. I'll leave the schema null because this is not really relevant for data lake. Now the second set of scripts uh, once I've run this, it'll just give you three dummy tables. Pretty straightforward. And I will share this script in GitHub, and you will find the link in the video description down below. Now back to Azure Portal for the demo. Welcome to Azure Data Factory. And first of all, let's create some link services. Now you go to manage and link services. Let's start creating for SQL database. I'm just going to call it uh, SQL DB and from my subscription, my server name. And this one is for the SQL DW. And I will just input my username and password. Test connection. Successful. Create that one. And I'll create another one for the DB, where the source tables are from. Same thing, but this now I select this SQL DB instead. That's connection again, successful. Now last link service is for the data lake. So data lake gen two. And for this demo, I'm just gonna use a CSV later. And for now, but I'm just going to call it LS ADL. That's fine. So its account name is this one. And if I test connection, yep, successful again. Okay, now we have all the three link services that we need. And now we go to order and let's start creating some data set. First, I want to create for SQL, call it DS. We'll do it and leave that as is. And I'll create another one and I will just clone this one. Make it easy. Rename that one and now I choose this one. Now, I haven't mentioned earlier, but to make the uh, copy multiple tables demo work for this data set you need to create some parameters and you need to create two parameters now one called schema the other one called table now if you need two parameters parameters are effectively a set of information that you you can set at the beginning of a pipeline and it can be used when you build a pipeline and during the execution multiple times. So it makes the pipeline flexible. Now, because we want to copy multiple tables into data lake, uh, we want to be able to use parameters to do that. Now we need to click edit for that and add for table change that value with 
the parameter we just created. This is for the schema. And this one is the table. If you're familiar with SQL database, a, a table will usually start with a schema and then with the table name. And that's why I configured it this way. Now, these two are done. Now we now create the data set for data lake. I'm going to choose CSV, make it simpler. And I'm going to just call it ADL. And for the link service is that one. And similarly, we also need to have parameters for the data lake because we have to uh, we have to flexibly copy into multiple uh, destinations. Although in this demo we only have one. Let's call it file system and folder. I'm just gonna call it layer instead. Make it straight more aligned. And this one is file. And in the item, I'm going to replace the file system with, sorry, layer, directory with folder, and file with file. Okay. Now, from here, I can start creating my pipeline. Now, before... We do that. Let me just rename this pipeline as PR underscore one. And I'm going to start by a lookup to get the list of tables from the config table. Let's see, the source is now the SQL DW where the config table is. Uh, I'm going to untick that first row only because we want all rows. And here I want to select query because I want to query select style from dpo.config. Finish that. And let's preview that. There we go. So just by doing that simple query, we can see we have three rows that we want. Now from here, let me just close that one. We want now to do a looping. So we go to iteration and conditionals. You want to drag and drop for each. You want to make that link. Tidy them up a little bit. I'm just gonna for each rename that. And what you want to do here is you want to pick up the values that this lookup gives you. So we basically want to throw these three rows into this for each for looping. And what we can do is we can click that, we can go to settings, and in items, you can just add dynamic content and you click get tables, which is the activity in the previous uh, one that we looked at before. You can click that one and you just type value because this will pick up the list of rows that is generated by this lookup activity. When we debug that, I'll show you what that looks like. Now, you want to configure this loop to do some copies, so you click the configuration and now you drag and drop the copy data. I'm just going to copy this, uh, rename this into copy into data lake. Now this is where it gets slightly interesting. So we know that the source tables are in SQL DB uh, database. You click that one. Now you want to insert the schema and table values using the records from the config table. Now you click that one. What you can do is you can go to add dynamic content and you go to the very bottom 
and you find this for each current item click that one and if you see remember in Azure Data Studio we have many fields and one of them is called source schema because this list the this will pick up the source schema column from from here this is what we want and we also want to pick up the source item the sync layer sync folder and the sync item as well now go back to copy we now want to put dot source item done for the source and for the sync you now click ADL now in the layer go and click sync layer I'm just gonna copy paste that so it's quicker sync folder and sync item now one last trick here before we close this one uh, is to actually add a concat or concatenate function because if we just leave it like this it will just save as a file without a, um, a format and we want to save this as a csv remember so we want to add a concat function so concat But we want to add dot csv and that should do the trick remember this concat item dot sync item quote dot csv okay now that should be pretty much it and now i'm gonna go up and i'm gonna try to debug this pipeline debug now it's cute and we see what happened there we go now let's investigate this a little bit so from the get table lookup we throw the select star from dbo config table and what we get here the output and you see here value is where we throw into the for each uh, looping you see we pick three set of uh, row here or record sorry and this is where it gets thrown into the looping and the loops runs three times and and it basically copies from the three source tables into the data lake raw container and folder and to test that and uh, make sure we just go back to so portal and Azure data lake ADL1 and if you go to storage explorer preview raw there we go we have folder one and in here there are three tables in CSV that we have just copied. That's it for today's video. How would you copy tables in Azure Data Factory? Let me know your answer in the comments down below and press like if you like it and subscribe for more future Azure videos. See you later.